Are you ready? What is up? <clears throat> Good evening, guys. It is May 1st, 2014, also known as Tinker Evil's birthday. Happy birthday. Much love. Uh, anyway, it's good to see you. Episode 25 of Serious of Passage. Just want to give you guys a quick, um, for those of you just coming in, I just want to give you a quick announcement. Um, oops. I got to turn off this giveaway thing. Sorry about that. Uh, just want to give you a quick announcement. Tonight's also the premiere of my late show, which is Crest of Resurgence. And that will be on 9 to 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, otherwise known as midnight to 2. So, thank you very much for supporting me. And, I don't know, let's see what happens with the second show, right? But anyway, let me go ahead and bring you in my first guest. Hold on a second. Let me give him... So let's bring in Scott from North Texas Vapor Shop. We're going to bring him in um, pretty soon here. And while I'm waiting for him, I just want to uh, give props to um, Dizzy. Um, T-Bolt's not in tonight on Vaping in the Nerd tonight on Quest of Vaping. But uh, unfortunately, he had a death in the family, T-Bolt. So uh, much love to T-Bolt and his family over at Quest. And want to just give him love. That's it, because... Dizzy does all of my uh, my backdrops, and even though she's on the same time as me, I always give them love. So, if anybody goes over to the quest room while you're on here, tell her I say hi, and then I'm giving her love. So, anyway, oh, there's the little ding a ling a ling, and let's see if we can get Scott on. Hey, Scott, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you, man. We see your face. So, that's yeah. good. <laughs> we had this problem earlier, if I remember. Just remember, yeah, you just have to go, you have to click on the settings and then click on your cam. Oh, and there you are. Hold on. All right. How's everyone today? And we got, yep, here we are. Guys, say hi to Scott from North Texas Vapor Shop. Let me just pimp his, boom. There it is right here. Here's his How's card. Yeah, thank you, Tower. <laughs> no problem. Um, 
So just remember, um, you, just, you just have to turn off the volume on in the room, so that way you don't okay. hear the delay from the Google Plus Hangout. That's the one thing okay. I forgot to tell you. So that's that's my fault, guys. I didn't tell them that when we did our pre-show meeting. Okay. Well, I got it off in the room now. Okay. So cool. Yeah. So, so this way you could. Yeah, and uh, you don't see me in the Google Hangout, but you do see me on the, uh, in the show. So it's very nice to yeah. see you, Scott. How are things? I am doing good. It's been a wonderful day here in Denton, Texas. Nice skies going on and everything else. So plenty of people out there vaping clouds with ideas. Right. Oops. My notes popped up in front of your face for a second. My apologies. So, yes, I do have notes, guys. <laughs> I know it's a miracle. You guys are like, what? I'm like, yeah, I actually write notes uh, for this. But anyway, um, first things first, Scott. Like, I just wanted to let people uh, delve in a little bit on your personal history and uh, just ask, like, obviously you were a smoker before you got into vaping at all. Like, uh, tell us a little bit about that little habit that we all used to have. You know, I, I was definitely probably one of the same as most a lot of people started well before I was 18 years of age, you know, cheating and stealing cigarettes from grandpa and everything else. But I, I worked myself up to about a two and a half pack they had it. And uh, now I've just been straight on the e-cig for about four years, three, four years now. So it's been a life changing for me, man. I'm, I'm uh, very happy. Uh, definitely have more money in my budget, so <laughs> that's one of the best things I think about e cigs. Not to mention, <laughs> I can I can just breathe, man. Climbing stairs when I'm going to classes and stuff like that, man. I, you know, I'm not as winded at the top of them anymore from vapes. Right. Oh no, I hear you. And hey, sorry guys. And just so you guys know, here are some of the links that you guys can like kind of poke through. Um, and yeah. You might need one of these links later. Oh, I don't know why. <clears throat> hint, hint. So, just letting you guys know, here are some links for them. This includes um, North uh, Texas Vapor Shop's website, their Facebook page, their uh, Google page, and, of course, there's their email for any questions you may have. Uh, but anyway, Scott, yeah, I mean, we can definitely all relate to that. We can relate to the fact that uh, we are, most of us, I mean, at least, you know, almost all of us have been smokers at one time and we used vaping as a form of tobacco harm reduction uh, to help us at least get our cravings for nicotine under control in a safer in a safer delivery device so um, my question for you is is like you know you got into vaping you started loving it but you started you decided you wanted to go into the industry can you tell us how that transition came about Man, it didn't take long for me to get into the industry. I think uh, after a good friend of mine, uh, Steve Sweetland, he's actually with Sweet Vapes um, mm -hmm. here in Denton, Texas, runs an online store as well. But um, he got me my first startup kit. It was a little Ego Starter 650 Ma. Um, and I think my first liquid, I got stuck with the uh, dreaded cinnamon. I know some of you like cinnamon, but... Man, it, it, it kicked me off the cigarettes, you know, right away. So I can't complain mm -hmm. about that. But it, I, it did realize after a while that it was real harsh and it, and, it, and it kind of irritated me. And that was just the cinnamon flavors in general. Um, but I think it was maybe a whole two months before I was like, wait a second, how do you do this? And I dove into the forums and started researching DIYs, getting all my math and everything figured out and uh, got me a little propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin and stuff and uh, set it there, got me a few uh, flavor ingredients mm -hmm. and, and started mixing up and, and I just fell in love with the, you know, the idea that I could create some cool recipe and uh, flavor concoction for people. Um, but I'm not the only flavor artist at this shop. Um, Dee, the actual owner of North Texas Vapors, is a fabulous, fabulous e-liquid artist. Uh, she makes some of the best tasting. I, I heard from you earlier that you're vaping and really love one of her uh, flavor concoctions, which is uh, Big Tex. It's, uh, I'm taking it! It's tanked! That's all I gotta say, guys. My, the Big yeah. Tex is tanked on my 26650 mod. And look, I'm using like, what, a 4 mil pro tank style tank? So... 
Yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> and, you know that, that that's great to hear. I'm sure she's smiling at home watching this too. But um, you know, it, it's one of the cool things about this industry is that you know it was kind of easy to do, but it's also understanding that there are a lot of um, dangerous things to go along with nicotine and um, safety, um, being a safety coordinator. I came mm. from a, a communications background where I was okay. a training instructor for uh, telecommunications. I was out there, one of your cable guys, you know, and I trained a lot of guys and safety was a huge thing. Um, and so we definitely uh, practice a lot of safe practices around our mixing and eating liquid for everyone's health that's involved in vapes, our juice, and everything else, and we're getting ready for all of the FDA certifications here. So um, we're hoping to continue to be one of the e-liquid providers for this great nation and definitely uh, Texas. So, No, this is not a Cardo tank, Leo. This is a Pro Tank style tank. It's Pro Tank. Pro Tank. I love my Pro Tanks. <laughs> But yeah, um, I understand. Like um, I know you were mentioning about um, obviously um, for those who uh, you know who haven't been living under a rock understands that last week the FDA uh, gave their um, <clears throat> regulation um, proclamations what they wanted to do uh, for the next couple of we uh, years. Yeah, Valek, uh, this is made out of lightsaber parts. You're correct on that. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and um, you know, like, from a brick-and-mortar standpoint, Scott, um, how do you think the FDA rela um, regulations, what they, they propose, how do you think it's going to affect you and other um, brick-and-mortars uh, in this country? Well, it's going to be difficult. Uh, the cost for FDA certifications is going to be uh, exorbitant, especially if some of these things hold true about individual flavors and nicotine strengths and stuff like that so um, I imagine uh, for some of the smaller brick and mortars that do wish to go that route hopefully we um, pull in towards the end of it behind some people that have already pioneered the effort and got their e-liquids on on the market so we can piggyback on information as an industry at all as a whole to help everyone else out um, and it may look like uh, because of the cost we may see some of these smaller brick and mortars offering a few less flavors or bringing in uh, more flavor lines um, right. to, to produce. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to still be here one way or another. Um, but I'm, I'm a little leery about that that statement of uh, everything thought, that was on the industry from 2007 is going to be okay, but uh, everything that's after um, is going to have to go for this regulation. And I really, for one, I don't want to see like my pretty little mods here um, disappearing from the market um, because of these regulations. So. I definitely think they need to go back and rethink what they're going on because they're going to take uh, vaping a step backwards. Right, I hear you. Uh, just giving props to my friend Randy. Randy and I grew up together. He's a fellow of Pinoy. I got him into vaping. At least I wanted to be able to help him get into vaping. So, Randy, get to see you in the room, bro. Um, and um, so anyway, let's delve into a little bit into the operation itself. Like, when did you start getting involved? with North Texas Vapor Shop um, and um, um, you know like how did it and then obviously you told me you got you you're now a man you're now the manager of the shop so yeah I, I, I got started right before they opened the doors here at, um, in Denton Texas which was in February of 2013 actually I think it was the last uh, like January 28th actually of, uh, of 2013 13 mm -hmm. so we're a little our doors are open for a little over a year now and uh, it just it was fun I clicked with the owners right away saw their level of experience with vaping and brought a lot more information to the plate because I'm kind of a nerdy individual man I I, I read 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 I, I can't it can't tell anybody enough not to read because it, it educated me and I went into vape shops before, especially when I was first getting started. If it wasn't for Steve um, helping me out a little bit mm -hmm. and a few people that were close to me, 
and the internet and YouTubers uh, that were just fabulous at spreading knowledge. Um, people in this area, they, they were left with, here's your device, you know, have a great day. And, and you get home and you're like, how do I do this? And, and we want to make sure everyone knows how to use their equipment, how to maintain their equipment. Um, and how to take care of it. And I have a few videos. I don't have very many up yet, but I have a few videos on the website, NorthTexasPaperShop.com. Um, whenever you go into like the 650 mile flat packs or any of our starter kits, they kind of show you the basics of just even the ego batteries and stuff like that. But it, when it comes to mods and different things like that, I definitely think that we're catering more on the. Uh, the in-store side of things where on Sundays we give uh, mod training sessions from rebuildables and stuff like that so there's there's really cool and we got to be involved in uh, DCBC which is the Denton County Vapors Club which is mm -hmm. a fast growing vapor club here in uh, North Texas um, so. we have something that the Denton, um, the Denton um, Vapors Club do you have meets every month um, no, we tend to have those about every uh, six months or so at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the guys that are running that are uh, all work hard-working individuals that have their own day jobs, uh -huh. and so they're, they're volunteering their services to put this together for the vendors, and um, you know, at free of charge for us vendors to go. and And there's just fun ways for us to you know network and uh, and and help uh, fellow vapors and convert some new people over. It's, it's one of those things is it gives us a spotlight where we can kind of showcase um, our abilities and our service. So we really appreciate being a part of their club as well. And definitely happy to be on uh, Tower of Vape tonight because I'm uh, hoping to see a few of your um, fans and stuff uh, check out some of our juice. Yeah, um, which um, I'm going to delve into in just a second, but before I do... The reason why I was asking is because, like, I know the person that's the admin for the Vape Meets uh, website. So if you ever have a Vape, um, vape Meet, like, she always posts them um, all the time. So that way it brings more awareness to your Vape Meets or every time you guys have a gathering. That's why. And I can also give oh, you that information cool. after. She's actually a fellow Texan also who runs it. So. Oh, cool. Cool, yeah. well, definitely. You know, send that information over to me. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I'll I'll, def I'll definitely give it to you after the show, so that way, um, it might help. Like you know, if there's people like in you know the Denton area now, Denton you said is close to the Dallas area, correct? Yeah, we're actually in, uh, north of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. So okay. We're the top of the Golden Triangle. So, okay. Um, <laughs> so you're kind of close <laughs> you know, to like Oklahoma then. Um, yeah, we're about an hour and a half, two hours away from Oklahoma. Um, so we definitely have Oklahoma customers that come into our store. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's something just we, we love to see people from all around come to get our product. So that's kind of cool. So it's like people that come down from OKC or come down from Tulsa, let's say they're going to a meet in Dallas or whatnot, they pass through Denver like, hey, look, there's the North Texas Vapor Shop. Let's come on in. And you go to them, and then we delve into some of these liquids that you have. The first one I want to talk about, though, when it comes to the e-liquids, let's talk about the one I really like a lot. And uh, it's Big Tex. Now, I'm going <laughs> to – you said that um, one of the owners, D, correct? Is that her name? Yes. yes She's Denise. the one – Denise. Okay. Sorry, my bad. She's the one – okay, she, um, she's the one that actually created this flavor. So definitely give her props on this. Tell her I love this. That's my personal opinion. It won't be... I can't say that in my review because that would be bad to be that biased. But yeah, I kind of love this particular yeah. flavor. She nailed that flavor down. I, I, it's a little bit of a sweeter tobacco, but once you vape on it for a few just a few vapes it's a little different at first but after that it just really tastes like a really good rich tobacco that's uh that's nice so so i, I i'm a fan of it too i you know like i said i love the mix so i'll pick up a bottle of bavarian cream and put a little bavarian cream with the big tex and uh, you know it's just even that much better and listen guys i'm not a it's not that i'm a huge tobacco although i love any teas and stuff but this doesn't remind me so much of, like, 
a hardcore tobacco. Like, because when you guys think tobacco, like, oh, God, it tastes gross. Like, no. <laughs> like, this to me is almost like, it's almost like there's some kind of like, I want to say some kind of like, it's like tobacco, but mixed with some kind of dessert influences. And like, I don't know what it is. And you know what? I'm glad I don't because it almost takes away from the mystery of it and it'll make people kind of wonder, well, I should at least pick up a small bottle of it to give it a try. And it oh, surprised dude. the living daylights out of me when it, because like, you know, when you read the, when you read it, because like the description you guys put was that it's literally, it's basically your unique signature tobacco flavor. So those, yes. like right away, people who don't taste, who don't, or aren't into tobacco flavors might go past it. Be like, nah, let's go for their fruits. I'm telling you, try this one. I tanked it. Would it. Be, I tanked it. Would it would be a big mistake <laughs> not to give that tobacco a try. Hey, um, rest. You know, it's it's one of my favorite tobaccos. I, I mean, but we love a little bit sweeter tobacco here in North Texas. I mean, we have a, a honeycomb, which is uh, like a flu cured tobacco, mm -hmm. with just enveloped by honey. That's it's out of this world as well. So we we spare nothing whenever it comes to our creations, and and we take a long time. We don't just uh, throw these on the shelf for you and be like, hey, let's see what this one does. No. Uh, we're real picky and a little difficult on ourselves before we release it, but we want everyone to have the best product. Now, the second one that I'm going to talk to you guys about, I'm going to let me go ahead and drip some of this some more. Uh, I dripped this last week when I first opened this up. Uh, second here, like, well, a couple weeks. I got this a little while ago, and uh, I let it sit for a while, but I'm going to drip some more of it right now. And the one I'm referring to, Scott. Is okay. the rook? The rook, yes, that is the dripper juice. Um, um, we've made that one up. It, you know, I can't even describe that one. It's it's got this just very unique flavor profile. It's uh, I I I can't explain it. It's it's good. It's it's a good one. Well, this um, one to me, so it tastes like Scott. To correct me if I'm wrong, but what I'm getting off of it is I'm getting stronger, like, it's like coffee and tobacco notes with almost like a dash of chocolate in it, like a small dash. That's what I'm getting off of it. Wow. Um, you know, you'd be surprised to know that there's no chocolate in that vein. But that's so. what I'm getting off of it. It's like coffee <laughs> and a slight taste of chocolate with the tobacco on, like, on, on the back end. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's one of those interesting flavors that people try, and I don't think I've had the same response from one customer here in the store when it's come to the flavor profile for that one. So it kind of melds to your taste buds. Um, uh, what what you think it wants to be? It's it's kind of that. I mean, I, w I wouldn't say by any means it's a strawberry or anything. That that'd be far off. But it's a delicious, delicious vape. Um, personally. I, I, I'm not the hugest fan of it, that, that's me, I, because I like richer, uh, more desserty flavors myself, um, but I have customers that uh, live for that flavor, and it's one of my reserve flavors, so I, I typically, I make juice, I put them on the shelf, and they, and they, they steep on the shelf, so sometimes, uh, whenever you buy from us, you might have a week before that flavor actually hits its full potential, even a little bit longer. Um, but most of the time, you can vape them straight from uh, fresh all the way through their life with uh, the flavor just getting better as you go along. Right. I mean, yeah, and um, I mean, like, I'm enjoying it. Like, uh, I was telling you, uh, like, this, but another one that, uh, those were the two that I really enjoyed. Now, the other one, the other two I'm talking about, um, this other one I want to talk to you about is the Pink Flamingo. Now, the Pink Flamingo, guys, just so you know, um, it's like a fruity mix. It has some, um, there's fruits involved in this, but there's also like, um, there's also flavor in it that, for those of you that know me, know it's my kryptonite. And that kryptonite is, well, coconut. There's coconut in this. So basically, this is a pina colada um, with a, with um, strawberries and Jamaican rum. That's what the flavor profile is on this one. 
Howdy Beast, by the way. Neighbor in McKinney. Uh, yeah, but, sorry, um, but I get to, I, but I could see <laughs> people, I could see there are people that would absolutely like this. And um, explain it to me from your point of view, like um, how you guys came up with this flavor. You, you know, Pink Flamingo is is kind of the best of both worlds whenever it comes to uh, pina coladas and and margaritas. Mm -hmm. um, and we kind of threw them together and uh, in in a kind of an interesting way. And so you have this nice uh, like kind of strawberry pina colada with these heavy notes and um, I, I know whenever I take it I kind of almost get like a, a bubble gummy flavor out of it but I, I know that you can't vape that one in the store or around people without people going mmm that smells good so um, it's a, it's another one of our top flavors and if I would have known that you didn't like coconut personally I, I would have uh, sent you uh, fairy dust instead um, because uh, that one would have probably been right along uh, your your line without that coconut and <laughs> pretty mix. But you know um, what though? Here's the thing though. I mean, I literally vaped like, look, I vaped half the bottle though, almost half the bottle of this. So um, I wanted I wanted to give it a fair try, and yeah, I'm like that. I'll give it a fair try. I'm not just gonna like take one hit off it and be like, ah. I'm like sometimes even if it has coconut. I will try it and I will keep trying it because to be honest with you, I'm trying I'm trying not to hate it, to be honest with you. I'm trying not to hate coconut. But it doesn't matter no matter what happens, with the exception of maybe one of two flavors. I can't handle can, it. <laughs> can I blow your mind for a moment? There's coconut in the big text, isn't there? Yes, there is. I noticed yeah. that. A little but I wasn't <laughs> sure. I wasn't sure, but it's so good. See, so now there's three I like that has coconut in it. Um, but yeah, like you said, you cannot tell that there's coconut. Is that though? Those flavors all combine and steep. It just is just a really rich, uh, sweet tobacco. That's it's not heavy. It's a real smooth vape. It's 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 very desserty in a sense, but uh, very refreshing if you're not wanting something that's gonna really linger on the tongue for a whole long time. Um, Randy, just so you know, Mad Vapids is one of my sponsors. Um, we could uh, Vaping Masters, so uh, I can give you info on that um, on that later. Sorry. Sorry about that, Scott. But anyway, um, but yeah, um, for those of you that like coconut, though, I could see why people like it. It's very fruity, and it is refreshing for those that like that flavor palette. For me, if I just took out that one element, I think it would have been, for me personally, it would have been amazing. I think it would have been pretty amazing. It's just that, just hard to get past it. But for those that love it, I think that this one is actually one of your strong ones. And I'm sure it, um, I'm sure a lot of people enjoy it, especially those that like coconut. You know, if I were to give you a rundown of, like, top flavors that I see that I have a hard time stocking on, I'm always back there mixing, or these always back there mixing. Um, it would be for sure uh, Big Texas number one on there, followed by Fairy Dust, Honeycomb, and Pink Flamingo. Um, and, you know, and here recently, for some reason, our vanilla cupcake is just taken off as well, and and that one that was a tasty and. and for some reason, I do not have that on the website. For some reason, um, go ahead and order the Twinkie and give me a note on there, and I'll make a vanilla cupcake if you want one of those. All right. Ah, <clears throat> oh, the Juice Genie. That's that's Maxi from Vapor Master. He's giving you props, Scott. <laughs> what is up? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's talk about the other one. This one's a little mysterious. Um, to me, uh, and we discussed this this afternoon. Be confused with mysterious, which is another one of our flavors. Okay, this sorry, I didn't realize that you actually have what called mysterious. <laughs> yes, we do. <did. laughs> um, what? Okay, so but the one I'm talking about is, whoop, let me just put it up. P three guys, P three. So anyway, I'm gonna be dripping yes. this again tonight, so I have it fresh, fresh in my palate. Uh, a second here. And uh, why don't you explain to us what P3 is? I don't know if it's on the site yet, 
It's one of your newer um, flavors, I think. Yeah, it, yes, it may be. And like I said, you can just go ahead and order one of the flavors, and if you put a note in there that you want P3, I'll be happy to mix it for you. But P3, even the name is expired off of three ingredients that we have going on there, and that's pineapple, pomegranate, and peppermint. So this is one of those vapes that's a nice fruity refreshing vape that leaves a nice crisp peppermint um, taste going after. So even if you're wanting something that you can, you know, kind of lean in and kiss your girl afterwards and have a little mini vape, you know, that it's kind of like a little breath freshener to you. Uh, it, well, at least that's the way I use it for. So, um, it, but it's a nice vape. But it's definitely a mild um, to a uh, strong peppermint, uh, just depending upon our batch. Just to let you guys know, this is these are the main flavors I'm getting off of it. I'm getting, like, you definitely get the refreshment of the peppermint, and you're, kick, you're getting the kick of, of uh, the pineapple. And the pomegranate, I'm not really getting it on the inhale, I'm getting it on the exhale, guys. So, you know, pomegranate's kind of like iffy, like some people love it, some people don't. But for those of you who don't even like it, I mean, to me, the main taste I'm getting off is peppermint first, pe um, um, pineapple second, just to let you know. Um, I don't know, what do you get off of it? I mean, like, uh, basically for you, you're getting the pineapple first, I mean, the peppermint I, first, I get, Scott? Yeah, I get, I get a, the pineapple out of it. Um, mm. The pomegranate kind of gets lost in the flavors, um, but I tried even in mixing it, uh, dropping the pomegranate, and it, it does, the pomegranate's actually doing something to spike um, the the uh, pineapple up in it for that back flavor, like you were saying. If not, you just get left with that nice, refreshing peppermint at the end, and and so uh, that's where I kind of fallen in. I was like, ah, if I took it out, people didn't like it, and I put it back in, people loved it. So um, it definitely, I keep, I keep the pomegranate in there for the back flavor. I think it kind of binds the pineapple and the peppermint together, to be honest with you. It's almost like a little sweetness that you get by kind of like a like a back, like a back end element that kind of like brings it together. I guess that's that's the way I was looking at it. Yeah, yeah, and you know the, that's another one of uh, Denise's creations that was uh, brought on by a customer um, as well. So we definitely take uh, customers' it's opinions around here and mold mold our flavors to what people like. So. Um, we're, we're a little flexible in that, in that means, but we do prefer to keep um, people to choose from the recipes that we um, have on our website. Um, there's a few. If you find some that we've listed on our Facebook page that we don't have on the website, be, mm -hmm. feel free to send us an email or drop us a note on Facebook as well. I'm always checking that, and then that, you know that'll just add to my work. But um, I will make sure and try and get those listed on the website for you. Let me put the links in so people can like your page or add you to their circle on Google+. Plus. Here we go. And there's their website. There's the Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Boom. Use the force. No, just so you guys know, this is from a defunct company. A friend of mine, uh, Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger, he made this for me. This is uh, the 26650 Mammoth. Also have the 26500 version, the Dima, a.k.a. my Broncos mod. So, uh, I'm a Broncos fan. I know we didn't discuss this, Scott, but I'm a Broncos. I'm guessing you might be a Dallas fan, but yeah, actually, <laughs> actually I lived in Colorado for eight years. Oh, so nice! I am, I am a, definitely a Broncos fan. Oh, uh, sweet dude, dude. we are. Fan, we so. didn't talk about this, guys. You know, this is we. This is the first <laughs> we talk about this. Oh my God, a, a fellow Broncos fan on top yes, of everything I, else. <laughs> yeah, when it, when it comes to when it comes to football, I'm definitely a Broncos fan, and then when it comes to basketball, I am straight up Mavs. So I hear you, man. Um, More torn, Cuban, I'm right? Torn. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, he's okay. He's doing something right, man. Can't be a billionaire without it, right? Right. Um, but uh, no, man, I'm a <laughs> fan. Like no tomorrow. <laughs> and I was so disappointed when they lost Steve Nash a few years ago. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Players. I know. But you know what, yeah, though? That, Steve Nash is near his family and stuff, and that's more of the reason. I think that's more of the reason why he still wanted to play basketball, but, you know, his family was in 
California. I guess he just wanted to go back and just do the twilight of his career there. I can respect that. You know? Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I can understand that. That's kind of what brought me back um, to Texas. Um, I moved away. I grew up here in Texas, and I moved away to Colorado for about eight years, and I uh, suffered a back injury, and so I came back to be closer to family and uh -huh. friends that I had back here and, and go back to school to kind of go from a manual labor type of position to something a little bit different. And uh, vaping uh, saved me a lot of money during that transition. Right. Um, I just, yeah, I, I kind of dedicated my life at, at the moment to it. And uh, um, it's uh, helped me pay for school and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a vape fanatic when it comes to it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, you know, before we delve more into it, I know there's a couple other flavors that you wanted to talk about. Um, um, obviously, one of them was the fairy dust. Um, and then um, there, I know there's one or two others that you're very proud of. Uh, I don't know if you made it or D made it, but I know there is a, a couple that uh, that you were well, mentioning the, before when we were doing yeah, pre-show. Yeah, the fairy dust was one of my um, creations around here, and it's a, it's a it's a little bit of a mod on some of the other flavors I've mm -hmm. tested out there. Um, but it comes off to people. Um, I didn't intend on it to be uh, referred to by our uh, customers as a pixie stick mm -hmm. um, and stuff, but uh, a lot of people have referred to it as a as a pixie stick instead of fairy dust. <laughs> And it's because it's just a really sweet, almost cotton candy, but it's a creamy cotton candy. So it's it's like a, it's just a fantastic flavor, you know that that you that you can do. I mean, there's a couple of cool flavors in there that are just awesome. So yeah. now I know here's the other one we talked about at will, and I actually want to pick up. There's two flavors. One that you said specifically for me. Big surprise it has banana in it, guys. It's uh, the banana cream. I know we talked about that. Um, I really want to try that. <laughs> I, you know, I've met a few more banana fanatics um, here in town. Right. Um, I have like three customers that um, they've been here with me pretty much since the start of the opening of the store, and banana cream is the only flavor they'll vape. They won't even try other flavors because they're so in love with our banana cream. <laughs> <laughs> but I know for so. you, I know for you, you were talking about how you're like one of the flavors you're in love with is the Bavarian cream. The, the Bavarian cream, yes. Um, I don't know what it is about it. It's 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 one of those flavors that you can pick up with the, all of your different fruit flavors, whether it be raspberry, strawberry, any fruit flavor. Just you can add a little Bavarian cream to it, and it's it's almost like going to a, uh, a snow cone shop and asking them to add some cream to your snow cone. It, it's just it is a rich vanilla caramely vape. It's just uh, it's neutral but it's it's a daily vape I just can't put it down I've been hooked on the thing for about three months <laughs> now and, or probably longer but I I'll try and go to another flavor and that flavor tastes great and then I just find myself going right back to the gray cream um, so it's it's definitely a, a great mixer for other juices too now I hear you so anyway guys I mean like before we go because um, I know uh, um Scott's yeah. had a long day. He was talking to me before when, when I talked to him for the pre-show, and he had like a list like a mile high of stuff he had to do today. And you have probably been busy all day. And um, I really I have, you know, and, you know what? I am finding myself getting a little bit better at multitasking because I think I accomplished most of it. But I'm gonna, I'd have my hide skinned by uh, Jeremy, another one of the co-owners of this shop, if I did not mention his favorite, the watermelon limeade. Watermelon I mean, lime! Thing, have you ever heard of Sonic Tower? Of have, which one? Sonic, like Sonic Drive-In. Dude, Sonic. I got a Sonic in my town. Um, um, okay. I live in Kingston and, and uh, the first Sonic in New York opened in my town. Dude, our limeades, our watermelon limeades and our strawberry limeades the, and our raspberry limeades, it's literally so good it's like going to Sonic. You know? <laughs> so I, 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 I'd be uh, kicking myself in the rear if I didn't mention that one for you. So. Oh, no, absolutely. I hear you, man, completely. 
Um, um, anyway, Jaygots, I'll talk to you later on, but that is a possibility. But anyway, guys, so what we're going to do here is I talked to Scott earlier. We talked about some flavors. Now I'm guessing we should we should give out a little bit of his juice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we do this? <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing very much activity going on, Jose. Oh no, no. There's a de there's yes. a delay like seven to ten seconds. That's why. <laughs> oh, there's, there's all coming. Everybody's like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is this, guys. Scott. In, um, gave me this information. He sent it to me. I, I've been holding on to this for a while. Um, I have a letter here, and in the letter I have two coupon codes. Two coupon codes, each of them good for one 30 mil bottle of e liquid. So, I'm going to pose a question in the room. The first two people to answer the question gets the codes. Now we don't. Now this is a one-off giveaway, so obviously everybody should get in on this. Um, now let me ask something before we go ahead and do this. Um, Scott, do you ship outside the U.S. Does your company, or do you, is uh, this strictly just a U.S. only? U.S. Okay, is just wanted to double check. For, you know, yeah, I, I we tried that international shipping uh, once, and it, it, it didn't work out so well for us. So we backed it off to just U.S. only. Okay, so unless you have a Dropbox in the U.S. that ships to your country, you cannot, unfortunately, you cannot participate. So, sorry, Shelly, I know you're in the U.K. If Holly's in here or Mick, sorry, guys. My apologies. I'm so sorry, y'all. So, and I know this maybe it might be a couple of Canadians. Sorry, guys. But anyway, for everybody you, you else. Know, you know, I'm, I might ship to Canada. You know, I, I think I didn't talk to bosses into shipping to Canada. Okay. You know, yeah. So this one will be U.S. and Canada only then. Gotcha. Thank you very much, by the way, Scott. So, all right, if you're, yeah. in, if you're in Canada, you can play for this one also. Here's the question, guys. First two people to get it right gets the codes. All right? Here we go, guys. Good luck. Let's see. Oh, man, that's going to be a good one. Tough question. Tough question. They have to go to the website. The answer is on the website. It is on the website. Yeah. A Mad Vapist. Woo. Yeah, I think I, th I think um, I think we have two winners here. Um Pammy. I have a person that helps me judge, but I'm seeing Mad Vapist and Ewok 619. Oh wait, is that right? Yep. That's what I say. Oh, we f we froze in the room. Hold on a second. Hopefully we'll come back. Oh. Uh oh. Yep. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get back in. Guess a second, Scott. Hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, I hate starting over. Yeah, it, it looks like Pam's uh, listing is Mad Davis and Ewok. Wait, hold on a second here. I'm trying to get back in the room to see if I still have my broadcast up or not. If not, I'm going to restart the broadcast just a second. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on one moment. Oh, we're still frozen. Hold on. Oh, I think we're I think we're kind of back in. Kind of. Yep. Yep, there we're back we in. We're back in. Sorry about that, guys. My bad. That was weird. Okay, so um, Pammy said we have um, Mad Vapors and Ewoks six one nine. So let me go ahead and write those in. Okay, you know, Tower. I think I think I also have a ten percent off for anybody in the chat room today if they want to enter in Tower of Vape as a coupon code. 
Oh, really? Cool. So let me just put that in. 10% yeah. off with code tower. Is it one word or three words? I think it is all one word. I would have to double check here and see, but I believe it is all one word. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. How long does that go until? Um, you know, I have that one open for you, man. Uh, I'm not going to close that one down. So, uh, oh, so that's a permanent code. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that, that's a that's a permanent code for for your show. So anybody that wants to come in, so I may pop into your chat some night and just remind people of it. Um, yeah, absolutely, but, man. Uh, a permanent code for you guys uh, for your broadcasts. Yo, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it. Let me just write this in. Uh, I'm going to put in my notes. Send off with code tower of eight. Um, permanent code. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. Wow, I'm getting a lot more soap in here. <laughs> you see me tell somebody that I'm close. It's okay. They look a little young to be coming in here. So, uh, so hey, Mad Vapus and Ewok six one nine. Just give me the last two digits of your zip code, okay, guys? Let me write that in. So I have it in, and um, don't go, don't go, don't go yet, don't go yet, Scott. I just got one more oh, thing no, I gotta no. do before you go. One more thing. I'm just waiting for Mad Vapus. Oh, Pip to Valak. Okay, hold on. Let me write that in. So Mad Vapus piffed it to Valak. Okay. Oh, that's a nice, nice. pit. Nice pit. Oh, way to go, Mad Vape. Okay, so Valak and Ewok six R nine, please give me the last two digits of your zip code. Let's see here. I forgot. I have to remember. There's a delay. Valak, you got a thirty mil bottle of juice. You got a coupon code that's good um, for the amount off on a bottle of juice. I think that you will have to pay shipping um, on that, but. Um, yeah, it's not much. I think we have a shipping and it's set at four dollars. So feel free to use that coupon code. Add a couple of more juices to it, um, and uh, enjoy some of our flavors that we have from North, North Texas Paper Shop. Well, Ewok, I didn't see it. Can you put it in one more time? If you put it in before. A second here. Thank you, sir. Okay. So we got him in the Valak with 69, Ewok 619 with 14. Got you guys. And then um, obviously you guys know I will put up my blog post tomorrow uh, sometime with winners from both shows. Because I'm starting a new show, Scott, on um, a West Coast show at midnight. So oh, nice. I'm starting out for the first time tonight. So I'm trying to, um, to get in um, West Coast viewers that find this show too early. So I'm doing a second show for that. And, awesome. Um, Yep, and like, you know, like West Coast guests and stuff like that. Like, I wanted to try to keep guests from East Coast and Central Time Zone on this show. I'm going to try to get more guests from Mountain and West and uh, Pacific Time Zones on the other show. So, I don't know. I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. So, because this is the first night I'm doing it. <laughs> but, anyway, guys, before I go, just uh, obviously there's a couple things I'm going to do. You guys know what it is. Um, for those that have come to my show, I give Scott the quiz. And before I give him the quiz, let me go and, and uh, give his uh, give his website, his Facebook page, his Google Plus and email. Please like his page, guys. Scott, you're obviously, you know, it was really great to have you on. But before you go, I got this quiz that I do with all my guests, okay, Scott? It's basically like the James Lipton blatant Inside the Actor Studio rip off quiz but it's a great quiz and I think it's a good reflection like it's nice short answers it's a reflection of a uh, how people react to short answer questions so I'm gonna go ahead and give you these 10 questions if you're ready mm, I'm ready man okay ready. okay Scott. <laughs> okay what is your favorite non curse word non curse word oh, oh. I'm so freezing on this. Um, I'm probably like, like, yeah, like real, for real. Cool, cool. Yeah, like, and what is your like, le like is good. What is your least favorite word? Um, you know, I have to go with the GD word, man. Uh, you know, that's probably my least favorite word. I understand what you mean. Um, what turns you on? Um. <laughs> I got the parental advisory if you wanted to go that route. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> you know, I think a fantastic vape actually gets people in, right? Right. And what turns you off? Um, bad tea, man. Bad tea. Okay. What sound do you love? Ooh. Birds chirping, man. <laughs> we noticed. This, we heard the birds going earlier in the, in the, in the interview. <laughs> we we have a resident parrot here, um, right? Um, named Corona, and he uh, he screeches. He doesn't chirp that much, but he screeches a whole heck of a lot. While oh I'm man! To register. It's it's kind of fun. <laughs> now what's you know, and, and yeah. then behind me you might have noticed uh, let me see where is he at right now there, oh he's right behind me the stingray floating Whoa, behind me right I see that now <laughs> yeah that, that's Bubba we are one of the only places here in North Texas where you're going to be able to come in and walk and check out some tropical fish too so that's a cool little thing um, we have some uh, parents and stuff that come in with their kids and mm -hmm. keep the kids entertained with the fish while we uh, handle the business with the vapor shops. So. You know, that's actually pretty cool to do that because I know there's a lot of shops that uh, don't actually allow kids in under 18. And I think it's kind of a travesty because it almost makes people like have to rush to run in, grab what they want and leave or not be able to go into a shop at all. Um, they're not buying the product, so I could see why it would be fine for somebody to just at least come into the shop, you know? Well, well you know, I mean, we also, I mean, we're kind of two businesses combined in one. We do salt water sells and uh, aquarium setups for people in service. So, oh, okay, um, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of neat. So we have a, a mix, and you'd be surprised at how many vapors out there have uh, salt water tanks of their own that they like to take care of. Cool. You know what? That answers a lot of questions because I was wondering. It's like, wow, a vapor shop, but you have a lot of you have a lot other stuff going on. Like I was wondering if we were in like a pet store, you know? So. Well, you know, I, I I would like move you around and kind of give you a shop tour, but if you go on the website, right. Um, we have a video under the news blogs there, and there's a, a tour of the shop, and you can kind of see what uh, little things that we have going on from so a few of the products that we had on our shelf when we made the video. There's been a few added then, um, but then you also get to check out some of the cool fish and stuff that we have here too. So um, I kind of support it. You know, we got stingrays behind us, mm -hmm. and I got stingrays in the mod case. So. Um, we got some cool things around here, too. Oh, right on, right on, man. Well, that answers a lot, and I'm sure a lot of people in the room are like, aha! Yeah. So, okay. So, anyway, um, um, guys, does, he's, um, Scott, if you have time, like, uh, after the interview, definitely, like, if you have time to stick around in the, um, the chat, because I know there's people that are asking questions. It's just that my show only runs to 10. I still got some giveaways to do. So, um, if that's okay with that, you, you can at least hang in the chat yeah, after yeah. the interview, and you can answer a couple questions. So. Definitely, yeah. I'm seeing one from Sin City right now, and um, mm -hmm. you know we like to help people with their builds um, um, and help teach people mm -hmm. how to build themselves. We're not we're not really big on just building them for them. I think it's very important for people to learn what they're doing rather than just having something uh, here handed to you and walking out the door with it. Unless right it's on, a, like a protein coil or a EVOD or an Aspire or something like that that's uh, built to go. Okay, so anyway, let's go with the rest of this quiz. We'll do a quick, we'll do a real quick of them. So okay. what sound do you hate? Oh, crickets. Okay, what is your favorite curse word? Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> and what profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Um, uh, public relations, but I think I'm getting a shot at that uh, through my job now, so it's kind of cool. That's awesome. And what profession would you not like to do? I never want to install cable again in my life. <laughs> so I guess that was that was pretty harsh, Dan. Uh, it was long hours. It was a great job. I loved it, but it's, it's very tedious. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, cable guys are known for this person that shows up late all the time and um, that wasn't me so I was just sick and tired of that stereotype and I, I, I don't want to 
do that ever. Right, <laughs> right. I hear you. Now, here's the final question. Uh, regardless of your religious affiliation, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? Um, you're in. You're, you're <laughs> in. If it exists, you're in. You made it. That's awesome. <laughs> Guys, give Scott a round of applause and North Texas Vapor Shop. Let me go ahead and put the card up again guys you guys see north texas vapor shop they're located in denton texas which is just um north of uh the dallas fort worth metroplex area the top part of the triangle correct scott yes yeah we we're just at the north or right where 35 splits and goes uh south and then uh west so cool thank you so much guys and guys can we put in their link his links one more time here they are. Thank you so much, Scott. I really thank thank you very much for taking the time out and hanging out with me tonight and hanging out with my uh, with my viewers. I really appreciate not, it. Not a problem, man. I'm having a great time, and thank you for having me on the show, Tower. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's no problem, Scott. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, if you have time, just stick around in the chat. Uh, answer, you can answer people's questions in case they have some. And, again, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it. Let me just give you a little bro fest right there. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I'm not seeing your picture. What did, what did you do? Yeah, I, I just, I, I just gave know. you a little bro fist. It, was there a bro fist? Was it was mod in hand? No, I could put the mod in hand though. Mod, mod. Boom! There it is. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> cool. The spot. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much, Scott. Have a great evening, man, and thank you again. All right. Take care. All right. Good night. Uh.